Yo, you know what's cool? Which I just noticed is you can see downtown Orlando from here on the top of this parking garage. I can see my house from here. Uh, the parking garage roller coaster. And neutral. I would say let's have a uh, a meet over there. <laughs> but we'd probably get kicked out because of security. Oh cool shit. I never knew you could see the dragon from right here. I usually come over here at night. You guys see the butt of the dragon and the wing. Yeah, you gotta stop. I got the right away. Look, see? Dragon. So okay, I'm actually recording this video because uh I installed the LaPera Bare Bones and uh, I kind of wanted to give you guys a review video of it. Give you my initial thoughts. Usually like after every mod that I put on the bike or like every like little thing that I change, I usually post up like my thought, like a thoughts video afterwards. Like gauge relocation thoughts, drag bar thoughts. So this will basically be like my uh, thoughts of the LaPera Bare Bones. I'll find a good place to uh, kind of stop up here and walk around it and talk to you guys about it as well. I guess just to give you guys some initial feedback. So the seat in comparison, compared to both the stock 883 seat, which this is what that looked like, and the stock 48 seat, which this is what that looked like, the LaPera Bare Bones is by far better than both of those. Now you might think the price range is kind of crazy. A solo seat for like, I think they retail at like 250 or something. Dude, your car is loud. So yeah, I think they retail brand new for like 250. Um, with the diamond stitching, I think like the one that I have, I think it retailed for like $2.99. However, I'll let you guys in on a little tip. If you like saving money and you like getting good deals, go to some Harley Davidson forums or whatever, whatever bike you're looking to get like a good deal on, join some forums and go check out the classified section. Uh, that's what I did and I managed to get a hell of a deal on this seat. It was used, but absolutely perfect condition garage kept the guy used leather conditioner on it all the time funny thing i actually he gave me his phone number guy was from up in like uh i want to say like wisconsin but more up north and so the story behind it was uh basically he had the seat for his harley 48 <laughs> what's up kid so yeah he had the seat for his harley 48 and he ended up giving the bike to his son well his son basically was like hey dad here's your old solo seat back I don't want it because I want people to be able to ride with me which is cool all good and well if you guys don't remember I actually originally had a uh, passenger pillion seat a little two-up seat and Miss Blackhead was not a fan <laughs> I will say that the iron 883 is not really meant for two-up because uh, I don't know definitely it's doable but it just doesn't doesn't really feel like you you've got a lot of seat and you're kind of hanging off the very back of the bike it's definitely not like the ultras or like the the wide glides or anything like that I mean that you've got your your own and lazy boy on the back of those things. So anyways, this guy, he had a uh, LaPera bare bones for his 48, gave the bike to his kid, kid gave the seat back, and so he basically put it in his garage, cleaned it up, put some leather conditioner on it, and he's had it sitting in his garage for like a long time. So I'm talking to him over the phone, making sure that it's in good condition, you know, there's no rips or tears, or you know, that the leather isn't in bad condition at all. No abrasions, bumps, etc etc and uh we end up talking about like <laughs> like he was talking about his 48 i end up talking about the 883 and the 48 we just sat and we talked about bikes for like 30 minutes it's just some random some random stranger some random dude off the forums which i just thought was really funny so yeah we end up talking for a bit and you know i'm getting like a good vibe from the guy so i'm like all right cool i'll buy the seat from you man like you say it's in good condition he posted up photos and stuff 
yeah, you know what the f you did. So yeah, he had posted up photos like on the thread and uh, I checked it out and everything looked good. So I was like, all right, why not? So I sent him some money via PayPal and he sent it out to me the very next day. Well, so in that last video, I basically opened it up, did that quick little install video, actually in the IHOP parking lot. Oh, cool, they have an electrical vehicle charging station. So anyways, yeah, the dude sends it to me and uh, it shows up and it's in awesome condition, man. I mean, there is nothing wrong with it at all. Like, you can tell it's been kept real good care of. The pan on the bottom, like no scratches, no nothing, no abrasions on any of it. Um, like the only thing is a little repair tag has some like wear on the edges, but I mean it's supposed to be like that for the most part. Whenever you see them from the factory, they look very similar. To be honest, if I could take that off, I totally would, but I can't, so. Anyways, the reason I went with a LaPera Burr Bones, obviously it's a solo seat, a little small saddle, and uh, I like, uh, like the way it looks on the bike for sure. I think it looks good. But after I ended up getting the 48 seat, and I, I like that the 48 seats basically had that gap in between the, the tank so you could see a little bit of that spline. So I opted for the uh, LaPera Burr Bones made for the 48. Now they do make one for the 883 as well, and it basically fills up that gap. So instead of ending here and going up, It'll go up a little further and it'll end here. It's the same price, so you get 20% more for the same price. That's how they should market it, advertise it. So the reason I ended up getting the little pair of bare bones is uh, because one, over the 48 seat that I had, the 48 seat was like a some kind of nylon synthetic material, which uh, caused you to slide around a bit. And the pair of bare bones is leather. So I did get the diamond stitch leather and uh, you don't slide around on it as much. So basically whenever you're accelerating, you don't slide off the back. Now, in addition to it being leather and leather helping that, uh, the bare bones does have a little bit more of a ridge right here. So it comes up a little bit more. I wouldn't say so much it has like a ridge, like where it goes up like that, like a little back, back wall. I think it dips down more in the middle here. So whenever you're sitting on it, you know, like whenever you're not sitting on it, you know, it might not look like it. But whenever you're pressing down like right here, you're actually sitting on it. You see how much further it goes down? So it's got, got more of a dip. So whenever you go, you've got this basically like holding you, you know? Plus, if you can see that, oh, it gives a little bit. It's way more cushiony than the stock 48 seat and the stock 883 seat. So whenever you're going over bumps, stuff like that, you're not feeling that as much. You know, it's, it's absorbing more of all that. Like I said, way more cushiony. I don't know if you guys can see it when I'm pressing in here, but I mean, it is, especially on the back, where like most of your weight is and like your tailbone, like it is noticeable whenever you're going over bumps and all that. So, I mean, nice and cushiony, see? And you can really feel that, like I said, whenever you're going over bumps and you've got like some roads that aren't super smooth. Yeah, thus far, I've had it for a little bit, maybe like a week or so. So long term, I mean, I don't think it's gonna change that much, especially since it's a used seat. It's not like it's gonna have to break in or anything, but um, yeah, I don't think it's really gonna have to break in. I thought it, but uh, yeah, I like it a lot. Um, it's got good style to it. Like, I love the way it looks. I love the way the diamond stitch looks. So, but yeah, I love the way the diamond stitch looks. What was weird is LaPera actually didn't have this seat listed on their website for the 883. It's only listed under the 48. So, you know, I had to call them and just double check that the one for the 48 would fit on the 883. Obviously, it's a direct swap, so they said, yeah. So, uh, so far, I mean, I'm, I'm loving it. Night and day feel, so it does have function as well as form. So, aesthetically, it's pleasing. And functionality, it's way softer, way more, like, cushiony way more comfy than the uh, stock seats so i would recommend it uh, if you guys are thinking about getting it i'll uh, drop a link in the description below as to where you can find this one and the one for the uh, 883 so depending on which one you want but uh yeah that's my review yo it gets my stamp of approval if you guys are thinking about it that's uh that's kind of my thoughts if you guys have any questions on it please feel free to post them up in the uh, comments below and i'll answer them to the best of my abilities install is pretty easy on it um watch that last video i'll link it up in the description below as well as have like a thumbnail at the end if you guys want to see me unboxing it and you know see underneath in the pan and all that it's a really nice fiberglass pan felt lined on the bottom with some little rubber bumpers so it doesn't you know hit your frame and all that but yeah yo 
I highly recommend it. Gets the uh, blockhead stamp of approval. It's a really good seat. I like it. Maybe not best for like super long distance, but I don't use my bike for long distance. I use it for like riding around town and stuff. So that's on you guys. Depends on what you use your bike for. All right, yo, go ahead and get out of here. So see this bump? Ah, oh, thanks, Lapera. Appreciate, appreciate your comfort. <laughs> the stupidest place for a red light ever. Like, why would you put a red light right here? There's there's nothing. It's not like an intersection, man. There's no f***ing traffic. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to go ahead and hit that like button down there. If you guys aren't subscribed, y'all be sure to go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well. And, oh man, it smells like some delicious Mexican food. If you guys like delicious Mexican food, as well as a La Para Bare Bone seat, hit the like button. Hummer. Anyways, until next time, you guys ride safe, stay vigilant, and I'll catch y'all later. Deuces. Hummers is... Why do Hummer drivers have to drive like assholes most of the time? It's my experience with them. No offense if you guys drive Hummers, but I'll usually suck.